Hello everybody, today I am going to be teaching you how to use physics surface. Now I'm just going to be teaching you, I, yeah I'm just going to be teaching you the stuff you really need to know, mainly the stuff that you're most likely going to use, um yeah. So let's just get on to the video. Okay, so you might be wondering, what is physics surface? Well, what physics service is, uh, a lot, it allows objects uh, to collide or not collide with each other. So, let's make a script. Okay, so now I have a script. The first line of code, we're just probably gonna uh, make, we're probably gonna get the service, so I'm just gonna say PS for short. So, game get service. Physics service. Okay, now I got physics service. So now uh, we want to create a collision group, and what a collision group is, it is pretty much uh, how you uh, choose. It's pretty much kind of like a table, <laughs> like you insert objects into the table. Yeah, just think of it as a table, I guess. So now uh, we to get a coll collision group, you gotta make a function called. Uh, um, it's called create collision group and you don't add, it's not a variable so you don't add local onto it okay so create collision so let's just say part okay. yeah you can name it whatever yeah okay so I let's see I want to make it so I don't want an op I don't want uh, parts colliding with each other meaning like I don't want this part to collide with this part. Now, okay, so you want you want to use a function called set part collision group. So actually never mind. I'm sorry. Use um let's see. Collision group set collidable. So the first uh, variable is the first collision group. And the second variable is the second collision group. It can be it can be in any order. So, okay. So this might be confusing. You might be wondering why am I uh, calling the collision group twice? Well, that's because you can use you can uh, have the same collision group not collide with each other. Meaning, if both uh, if both objects are in the same collision group, they won't collide with each other. It's pretty cool. But it doesn't have to always be that way. You can maybe do, let's say, part two. You can do part two. But um, I just want to use parts. And the last argument is uh, to make it towards if they will collide with each other or not. So false meaning they won't collide with each other, and true meaning they would collide. Okay. So now we got our we got our setup ready. You want to. Uh, add in a part, I guess. Let's make two parts. Let's just okay. I'm just gonna make this one anchored. I'm gonna make this one not anchored, and I'm gonna make it towards they both can collide. As you can see, they said they can collide to true. Okay, I just got a Discord message. You probably heard that. Um. Okay. So let's just call this part two. So now we got part and part two. So now we want to uh, put these into a collision group. Okay, so we, we want to do PS uh, set part collision group. Now this function, you put, so what you do is you want to put your object in. So let's do game that will space out part. And then the second argument is your collision group, which you want it to be part. And we want to do this again for our part two. Actually, no, sorry. Part two. There. Okay. Now let's see what happens. As you can see, they are not colliding with each other. Okay. And yeah, this one's the anchored one. But as you can see, they are not colliding with each other. But here's the cool thing. They are both... Uh, can collide. Now the reason why they did this is because uh, what the physics service is, it set the collision group ID. 
it all it all already did that for us. Well, you can manually do this. So using one means it cannot collide with uh, objects. Well, it's kind of confusing, I guess. But with physics service, it automatically does that stuff. So, so you don't have to worry about collision group ID. Yeah. So if we would set this to true, meaning they would both collide, they would both collide. And as you can see, they're colliding with each other. Is that really, isn't that cool? Okay, so you might be wondering, uh, how do I make it so a player cannot collide with another player? Well, that's actually pretty simple. Let's just name this, let's just name it players. And you don't want, actually, I want to do NPCs, because I don't want to use the test tab. Let's just do NPC. 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 Actually, I want to do NPC and players. Yeah. Players. Players. Okay, so now we have our collision groups. Okay. So, let's add in an NPC. Okay. Now we have our NPC. I'm just going to rename this NPC. Okay, so let's make it towards we get our NPC. So this is going to be a little different because uh, physics surface you have to use uh, union operations, mesh parts, and regular parts. You don't use models. Uh, so in order to fix that, we and to save so much lines of code, we can just do for i v in pairs game dot workspace dot NPC get children now this might be confusing to you you probably already know this these are two variables this is the that number of it this is the object and we want to yeah um i think you should already know this if you haven't just go look at another tutorial but let's finish this tutorial real quick um okay so now we have every single object here so you want to make sure that it's actually uh, getting these, not these. So let's just do if v and is a function and inside an object. It's called is a. Okay, so we want this to be part or v is a union operation, which probably there isn't. So I'm actually going to change it to mesh part. Okay, how did that happen? Mesh part. Okay. Then, okay, now we make sure it's uh, one of these. Then we want to do, uh, we want to do physics service set part collision group V, and then we want to do NPC. Now you can do the same with players, except you gotta add the uh, player added function. So game dot players dot player added connect function um, player. We're going to add, do the character function. So player that character added connect function character. I'm not sure if I'm do if I spelled everything right. I'm probably okay. So let's just do this again, but this time we do character. Um, let's just organize this. Okay, there you go. Now, part. Okay, so now we got our two collision groups. Um, now we should make it. Okay, so I accidentally said part instead of players. I am such a small brain. Um, I think I got this up with this or the my previous collision group, which used to be called play part. Okay. Now it should work for sure. And why is this not working? So I set them to true and I want them false. Yeah. The slightest error of code can make the whole script uh, uh, malfunction. So now we aren't colliding. So. This is a way where you can make NPCs not collide with each other. If you want to make a game with uh, that, like there's a main character, you can also make it towards players don't collide with each other. 
so we can just also make it towards players don't glide okay so if we were to test this um you would go to the test tab and then i prefer two player and then you would press start but i'm not doing that because it would open a new window in my in my computer can only allows my computer limits the things i can record it only allows me to record uh, a certain application at a time like yeah it's pretty confusing okay so if you were to test that um probably it might lag a bit a little bit but if you were to walk through another player um you would uh it would work you wouldn't collide with them so i hope you uh, learned something new today i hope you this was very helpful and very useful in the future uh, see you next time. See you later.